All right, there you have it. The rest of today's show focusing around this melons. Uh, not just watermelon, though. Your most important melon. Yeah, a new campaign in Delaware is pulling in some star power to spread a life-saving message. Use your melon, drive sober, arrive alive. And that star power joins us today. NASCAR driver Ross Chastain, thank you so much for yes. being here today. So what we're doing is uh, we're talking about a message that's an important one. Mm -hmm. Uh, why did you decide to get behind this? Yeah, so Use Your Melon is something that we came up with a few years ago, and I'm actually an eighth generation watermelon farmer from South Florida wow. and 12th generation farmer overall. Um, and we wanted to bring agriculture to the racetrack and watermelons particularly. So uh, we partnered with the Office of Highway Safety here in Delaware, and we kick off the year with our Protect Your Melon Buckle Up campaign, just reminding people in Delaware, all the residents and anybody passing through, buckle their seatbelt. And then in the fall, we transitioned to Use Your Melon, which is a drive sober campaign. So my life is at the racetrack. I'm traveling all year long, racing, promoting myself and our brands and our partners. But we wanted to reach farther than just the NASCAR fan base. Right. So we are shipping out about a million watermelons with this Use Your Melon label on them across the state of Delaware this summer. And just for a new and creative way to try to remind people to use their melon and drive sober. Do you think people will, will take the message to heart? I think if it if it saves one life, if somebody sees it, one person, whether it's somebody in the grocery store, or somebody sees the watermelon when they get it home and they're cutting it and they see the label and they see the, the little melon head guy with the seat belt on it, they just see it and see the message and if it saves one life, it was all worth it. Let's talk about your racing a little bit. Yeah. You actually started racing when you were age 12? Yes. Oh my right. goodness, tell us yeah. about that. Yeah, that's, that's honestly pretty late for a NASCAR driver or a professional driver. Um, I never had any aspirations. I mean, I had the dreams, right? Every mm -hmm. kid does. They want to be a NASCAR driver, but they want to, you know, they want to race. But we were watermelon farmers. That's all we knew. I mean, it's kind of sad in a way that any way, any moment, like growing up, I wanted to skip school to go to the field to work. Right. And so that was what we did for fun was work at the farm. So um, started at 12 and until I was 18 years old was strictly a hobby. My family got really involved. It brought us all closer together. Saturday night short track racing, we did asphalt, but asphalt or dirt, it brings families together, it brings friends closer together. And it's just something we fell in love with. And when I turned 18, we decided to take a serious look at NASCAR. And for one reason or another, it has really rolled into a really big deal for and us. And it's worked out well. So yes. now is, is driving is racing a job or is it enjoyable it is i love it uh you have to to wake up uh, we raced in new hampshire uh sunday uh, ran the cup race there and then drove sunday after sunday evening really we didn't get out of there until about nine o'clock uh through part of the night and got up early and got on down here uh to start promotions here yesterday at the state fair and we'll be back there from 4 30 to 7 30 uh this evening so um yeah the racing is the fun part yeah it's also the most important but Honestly, I spend more time out promoting not only myself. I, I'm a race car driver. I have to be very self-confident and very self-centered. Right. You, you can't back away from that. that's the character. Mm -hmm. that's what but, you do. but I also have a lot of people that are depending on me to get their message out. And so this Use Your Melon campaign is something that is near and dear to, to my heart and my team's heart. So we, um, we just want to try to save a life, whether it's in the spring, getting people to just remember to buckle their seatbelt or in the fall to drive sober. So you've, t you've tackled the Monster Mile? We have, yes. Uh, have not conquered it yet mm. it's tough mm -hmm. um, it's, there's a reason they call it the monster yeah it's uh, why, Dover, why is Dover it tough it's such a high bank track so mm. the corners and even the straightaways is honestly where a lot of people get in trouble the straightaways are banked so high and the concrete is so rough um, it's it's really taxing physically and mentally uh, from inside the, the cockpit and it's um, yeah it's it's there's never a moment you can relax some tracks um, down the straightaways are pretty simple to go down the straightaway um, we're going to the longest straightaway in the sport this weekend at Pocono um, up in Pennsylvania. So that'll be simple to go down those straightaways, but at Dover, at, Do at Dover Downs, there's no time to rest. How long is that straightaway? Um, it's the it longest one in NASCAR. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. Yeah, but and tracks, you know when you're on it. Track's two and a half miles, um, and that's the longest part of the track is yeah. the front stretch, so <laughs> up at Pocono. Okay, See. so do you have any favorite Delaware traditions in which you like to partake? Well, I... Honestly, I'm up here so much, a lot of people do think that I'm from here or live here because we do a lot of promoting in the state um, and we, we crisscross it. That's our, our plan, our marketing plan lays out. Um, you know, the, state's, it, the state is adequate size where we can, we can be in, in Dover in the morning right. and we can be down in Laurel at a farm 
in the, you know, at lunchtime. And so we try to just crisscross and, and see everybody across the state and share the love from the beaches to the inland. So, um, but honestly, this is my fourth year at the state fair. And I mean, you just can't pass up a fried Oreo. <laughs> ah, there I it mean, is. Steak on a stick and, and a deep fried Oreo, and I'm a happy guy. You are a happy you guy. 